Are you guys excited? Welcome to a brand new Let's Play, guys. We are uh, doing a Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. You guys have been absolutely destroying the support on the randomizers. So I thought, you know what? We did Pokemon Moon. We did Pokemon Y. Let's go ahead and bring it with Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. I'm extremely excited. As you guys always know, at the beginning of these randomizers, I swear the hype is unreal. If you guys are excited for a brand new Let's Play, brand new team members, and a whole lot of crazy shenanigans, give it a thumbs up right below. It is super greatly appreciated. Make sure you subscribe as well, guys, because I'm telling you this is series you don't want to miss. If you haven't seen our past two randomizers, the kind of groove that we've been going on for quite a while now, um, be sure to go and check them out. I will link them down below in the description. So after, this is going to be like a choose my starter video because the starters have been randomized this time, so I'm happy about that. Um, you can go ahead and check those episodes out as well, get you in the mood, get you hyped already for our brand new let's play here it has been such a long time since i've touched aura so i saw it and i was like yo i actually really fancy doing alpha sapphire because much like um pokemon moon um I, no not sorry in pokemon moon pokemon x and y i always used to play through omega ruby uh, and i never played through alpha sapphire so i'm excited for that i know it's the same game um but with like the different scenes and stuff like that but i'm still excited to play through it but here we are, look at this. I still love the opening to this game. Like, there were so many people that said this was a bad game. And to be honest, I didn't think it was a bad game at all. Like, I, I thoroughly enjoyed Auras. Like, I really did. It gave us that, like, it gave us that scenery. You know, that, that real feel of those, like, 3D and, you know, those Gen 6 graphics. So, we'll go with the girl, as always. Uh, and we'll go ahead and call her Yellow. Because it is Yellow's time to explore through the Hoenn region, my friend. She's been through Moon, she's been through Alola, she's been through Kalos, and now it is time for the Hoenn region. So you are yellow. I am yellow. Yo, yellow's changed a little bit. She's not got a blonde hair that she's rocking, but we can work with this. She kind of had to have a hair dye ready for this Let's Play. <laughs> are you guys ready? I'm extremely ready. Your own, uh, your own very adventure is now about to un- Ball. Be courageous and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. I'll be I'll expect we'll be meeting again soon. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Woo! I'm excited. I'm ready to go, guys. I am ready to go. I'm excited to see what my starters are gonna be. Everything has been randomized, so I managed to go ahead and randomize um, wild encounters, trainers, Pokemon, also moves and abilities. So that's gonna be really cool. I never um, I randomized moves last time, but not the Pokemon that I was capturing their moves and abilities as well. So I'm happy I did the abilities. So literally, I could have like a Kyogre with Drought. So that's going to be insane. I, I'm ready for this. I am ready for this. I seriously am. Woo. Ready for this. Let's get it. It's like, like I said, the scenery in this game was absolutely beautiful. Like, I, I don't understand why people thought this was a bad game. Wasn't it tough riding in the back of the pumpy moving truck all that way? Well, this is Little Root Town. What do you think it's going to be our very new home? It is a quaint feel, uh, but it looks like it should be a nice place to live, don't you think? And you actually get your own room this time, Yellow. I wonder, I wonder where did I sleep before? I don't know. Yo, this place does not look like it has an upstairs. Like, I swear this thing doesn't look like it has an upstairs. You know, it's crazy. I get my own room, but where does Mum sleep? And where does Dad sleep? I know Dad's at the gym, but where does Mum sleep? Does she just sleep on the chairs? Because there, I don't even think there's a sofa. I really don't think there's a sofa or a couch for her just to lay on. I don't think there is. Like, I, I, I've always wondered that. Anyways, we got a new clock because of the move. No, she doesn't have a sofa. So she just cooks and then she just sleeps sat up. <laughs> I feel sorry for mum. But mum kind of, yeah, oh, mum, mum can get on the Lapras, I guess. So let's go ahead and fix up the clock. Right, so we can get all set and ready to go. I'm excited to see what my starters are. I really am. So, the hour has been set to 13 and the minute to 41. Now, it is not the correct time. It's probably the time in Australia, but... A night time, I guess? I don't know. No, it probably isn't the same time in, in, in um, Australia. Because my 3DS is set to Australia, so... I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Let's see what's popping on the TV. It's Pedalberg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on TV. Interviewer. <laughs> we brought you this part live from front of Pedalberg. God damn it. God damn it. Why did we miss it? What a shame. 
Professor Birch, we need to go next door and introduce ourselves to Brendan. I wish you could nickname the rival. Like, I really wish you could, but you can't. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Oh, god damn. Who's this white pasty girl? Oh, hello, and you are? Oh, you're yellow. Our new next door neighbor. Welcome. We have a son who's just about the same age as you, and he's been so excited about making a new friend. He should be upstairs in his room. I hope you go and introduce yourself. I shall. Don't you mind me. Don't you mind me at all. Hey, look at the boy. <laughs> yeah, look how proud this man looks at himself. He looks super proud. Pokemon fully restored, items all packed, and... You! Who are you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hello. Yellow. Oh, you're the kid who just knew who didn't next door. Huh? I didn't know that you'd be a girl. Dad, I, I mean, Professor Birch told me that you were a kid of the gym leader, so I sort of hoped that you'd be a guy. <laughs> oh, yo! Ah, oh, damn it. I'm supposed to be going out to help my dad catch some wild Pokemon, so another time, okay? I hoped you'd be a boy. Well, thanks for shutting us down, Brendan. I mean, we could have seen how it went, but hey, no, no. Not now, my friend. So, like I said, this will be a Pokemon randomizer at Nuzlocke. If you guys don't know what that is, there will be um, some info and rules and stuff like that down below in the description. So, I recommend checking it out. Also, um, in the previous randomizers, a lot of people have asked me, you know, how have I done this? Um, I'll try to link a randomizer um, tutorial in the description. You do have to go through, like, um, you have to have custom firmware and stuff like that onto your 3DS. So, like, homebrew and all that stuff to randomize it. But in the end, it's really worth it, even though it's quite a long process. Uh, allowing to randomize your game is like, honestly, it's like 100% more fun to play through a game. Like, if this game wasn't randomized, I wouldn't play through it again. Like, I really wouldn't, because it, I mean, it's just, hey, it's not that. So, the fact that it's randomized is super fun. Like, it really is. So, Professor Burst Gate, I'll chase Topia. So, let's go ahead. Urgh, I don't know if it makes sense. I'm ready to see my starters. Hello, you over there. Please help me out. In my bag, there's some Pokeballs. Ah, I don't know if I'm excited. Ah. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, yo! Okay, that's not bad. We got the fire type Ardino Pokemon, the grass type Skaroopy, and we have a water type Espeon. Yo, you can't even see these guys' faces. What the hell? I wouldn't be too mad with the Espeon. I really wouldn't be too mad. That is a good starter. Vote for whoever you want me to use as my starter Pokemon. Um, remember, all the moves have been randomized uh, and abilities have been randomized as well. So that's going to be really, really strange to try do this. I don't even know if their types have been randomized. I'm looking at the water type Pokemon, so I'm thinking possibly their types could be randomized. So this is going to be a crazy, crazy randomizer. This really is going to be insane. This is going to top Pokemon Moon and Pokemon Y. Oh, I'm excited. If you guys are excited, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. It is super greatly appreciated. Remember to check out our previous Let's Plays on our randomizers as well. There will be links in the description. One more thing as well. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any more episodes to come. I'll give it a few days until we upload the next part. Um, so you can like calculate your votes and stuff like that. But if I see, um, obviously there's more votes for one Pokemon. <laughs> now I'm on the screen, right? <laughs> Now, sorry, I just had my cough there. Um, <laughs> if there is more votes for one Pokemon and I see it like in a day or two, I'll upload the video anyways um, a little bit earlier just so, because I know you guys' excitement cannot be contained just like mine. I wish I could just go ahead and pick the Pokemon that I want to pick right now and continue recording, but it can't. It's down to you guys. So, if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Always super greatly appreciate Let's see if we can smash 100 likes. It will be super greatly appreciated. And subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos to come. With all that being said, you guys have been amazing as always. I've been Fanatax, and I will see you guys back in our first official episode next time. Bye!